The Colorado River is drying up faster and federal officials can keep track. Plummeting reservoir levels at Meade and Powell solidify Arizona cutbacks next year and near future threats to all the compact states, from Colorado to California A blunt new report based on June runoff conditions from the Colorado River into Lake Powell and Lake Mead shows the reservoir's fast deteriorating toward dead pool status, where stored water is so low it can't spin the massive hydroelectric power generators buried in the dams and large swaths of Arizona farmland going fallow. Enormous, life-sustaining buckets of water in the drought-stricken West are emptying so fast that the Bureau of Reclamation added a new monthly report, on top of three already scheduled this year, to keep up with the dam. The Bureau said the loss of water is accelerating, confirming projections that massive water restrictions will begin in 2022 for the three lower basin states in the seven-state Colorado River Compact. Conservation groups believe Arizona will lose more than 500,000 acre-feet of water usually delivered by the Colorado in 2022 through voluntary and mandatory cuts, forcing significant reductions to irrigated farming in the desert state. Some, but not all, of Arizona's share will be replaced in trades using water already banked in the reservoirs. The Bureau's report for June added on to previously scheduled reservoir updates for January, April and August paints a dire picture. As snowpack runoff disappeared into dry ground instead of hitting the reservoirs, engineers calculated a 79% chance Lake Powell will fall below its minimum target water height of 3,525 feet above sea level next year. That minimum provides only a 35-foot cushion for the minimum water level of 3,490 feet needed to spill water into the electric turbines. The Bureau said there is now a 5% chance Lake Powell falls below the minimum needed to generate any power in 2023, and a 17% chance in 2024, the odds are going up with each new report. Lake Mead, which feeds the three lower basin compact states of Nevada, California and Arizona, is in even worse shape. The compact requires declaration of restriction triggering shortage condition if Mead hits 1,075 feet or lower. Mead is falling now, and the Bureau affirmed the shortage declaration will happen in August. Las Vegas, a short drive from Mead and Hoover Dam, hit 117 degrees on July 10, and longtime local users are alarmed at how fast the pool is evaporating into desert skies. Mead is also in great danger of hitting critical elevations of 1,025 feet, a sort of emergency stop minimum, and the minimum pool for generating power.